Welcome back. Today's video, we are going to be wrapping up the, the $75 go kart. So, what we will be doing is repainting the frame, repainting the rims, and we'll maybe get to doing the seats. If we can't do it today, we'll do it next time. Oh, and the roll cage. We've got those all primed up as well. So, we'll get into it. Alright, so let's talk colors. For the bottom part of the frame, we're going to use this blue. It doesn't look like that. I don't know why. But and then these top rails are going to be, what's this, silver or gray? And then, what are we doing for the wheels? Same color. Same color? Yep. Alright. And then, where is it? The frame, it, the top part of the frame, like the roll cage, is going to be black. And then... We might use bed liner on the floor pans, but we'll get there eventually. So, when I was taking off these rims, I found out something, that these are called two-piece rims. It's self-explanatory. There's The rims are in two pieces. Usually, you have two. You have, I mean, not two. You have one whole rim, and you just have to put the bead on. These ones have a tube on the inside and then the tire on the outside. And then you put the one side of the rim on, and then you put the other one on. It's Pretty, they're pretty easy to do. They're pretty easy to work on. So I'm taking the air out so I can pull these apart and then it'll make make my life easier to clean up and we'll be able to get some of the rust out. So let's see here. Yeah, they're rusted together. Heat, hammer. Wish this was a bigger tire. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Small price to pay to remove rim from tire. We'll get back at you when I get this thing apart. All right, so now we're gonna let the blue dry and then probably might do one more coat and then we're gonna tape it off and do the, the gray next. Jason's over here trying to get these bolts out. Can you turn that off? Appreciate it. Yeah. No, I felt like something burning in here. Must be like a fire. Yeah, I'll get the fire department nearby. Oh well. So, whenever you have a stuck nut or a bolt, the thing I like to do, you get yourself a blowtorch and you heat it up, right? I usually put some penetrating oil on it first and then I heat it up. We're not sponsored by them, not yet at least. But what you do, you just heat it up. Well, you put that on there. Sit, sit for a second or two and then grab that, turn it on, put it on and hold it on there for a little bit, probably about five minutes. And then once you think you're ready, you pull it off, spray it with oil again, and get one of these puppies, right? And you just come around, put it on there. And like that, it comes off. Oh boy. Sizzly. <laughs> that's not sizzly, that's crunchy. Oh, it sounded like sizzly. That's definitely rust. And now, I remove the hub. And now, I have the tire apart. Whoa! <laughs> so, oh. Listen to it. Listen to this air out, see if maybe I can separate this rim. A little bummed out. I couldn't separate the rim on the other one. Yeah. So we're just, I'll work around it. Yeah, it's no big deal. It's a big deal. Oh. Hurt my feelings. Okay. My feelings were injured beyond comprehension. Words cannot be described to explain the feeling I have. Emotions of defeat. 
fill my line. All right, so I got safety protection on. All right, so I'm gonna take this. It's called it's called an angle grinder because you can grind on an angle. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I gotta watch that valve. Let's get on this side first. I'm gonna take this off. No, I can't get it in. Got that, Chief? How did I know that was coming? Your hand's like right on the wires, by the way. A little bit. This man's never used an angle grinder before. Right, guys so two parts of the frame are done now we're just gonna use this plastic dip on the frame on these rails here just for some grip and uh i learned this trick back in grade school where you just tap the can and it kind of just covers it in paint so that worked out pretty well i think getting knees primed up getting a little overspray where i don't know nowhere yeah, I should go. all right so right now i'm removing the last two bolts on the seat pan i've been what i found works the best is i get a pair of vice grips on the end that would be on wood but the wood is just crap so i'm hooking on there with that and i'm using a 13 millimeter impact not really impact but you get this yeah, it's close enough and i've been slowly just Stripping away at this metal. It's literally an impact. You know what? I do. Anyway, take it. You take the bike. <sighs> All right, take it. Loosen it up. Clip it on there, like so. Take it off, and then you got the threads left on there. Nice. Then you just put pressure on it. And I was working on cutting up this pallet for new wood. And uh, yeah, it's a little smoky, but smoke's never killing anybody, so. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> show, them, show them the cart. Show them the oh, yeah. cart. <laughs> So we got the blue clear coated, looking all nice. Got some rubber, what's it called? Plastic dip on the rails. Rear end is black. And then just gotta do right here. Four pans and then the, the cage. And then, and then we'll start assembling. And uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be next. All right, so sorry this video is going to be like skipped around pretty good. But anyway, we've been busy working. We have the frame almost completely painted up. We're going to put some bed liner on here on those parts. I'm over here. I'm going to be working on those two. And now and then once we get that, we got to just put everything back together. Put tie rods on. Oh, we got to paint the roll bar. Yeah. That's the other thing we're going to do. But we got the rims all painted up. Come take a look at these bad boys. I went good with that. We figured we're gonna go with like a space theme because it's like it's like a it's like a like a space blue type thing, and then with the chrome on it, it's got. It may not look mu like much now, but you just wait. It will look like a polished turd. Pretty much. Yeah. So. Polished turd that goes thirty miles an hour. 30. We're, we're pushing 88. We're going back oh, in time. Right. Like that one movie with Vin Diesel. Alright, so that's all for today's video. We're going to just finish up painting everything and then in the next video, we'll be putting it back together. So, see you then.